I'd like to introduce Linnea Zimmerman, who is an assistant professor in the department. Linnea? Thank you, Stan. Uh, as Stan said, my name is Linnea Zimmerman, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Population, Family, and Reproductive Health. Uh, my work primarily focuses on family planning, and I teach a course in the third term called Family Planning Policies and Programs. My interest and research has primarily focused on family planning and the reasons for use and non-use in developing countries, and recently has expanded more into maternal health and reproductive health, uh, primarily in Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm also the Associate Director of Research for PMA 2020, which is a large-scale survey project, again focusing primarily on family planning, and is a multi-country uh, survey that is in nine countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. Renea, what would you say to students who are interested in the area of population and health? I would say that population and health really underpins almost all of what we do in public health, that there are um, research that's found in perhaps a field like epidemiology, for example, that antiretroviral therapy is effective at reducing HIV infections. But to roll that out on a large scale, you really have to have knowledge of mortality, fertility, and migration patterns. You have to know where people live and how many people there are to um, guide your health system response to distributing antiretroviral therapy and making sure that those services are getting to the right people and the right number of people at the right time. And can you give uh, some examples of how you've used demographic methods in your own work? Yes. Um, so my work, as I said before, has primarily been on maternal health and family planning. So this graphic shows uh, a project that I worked on where we were estimating maternal mortality in Afghanistan. And this shows the distribution of cause of death for women of reproductive age, age 15 to 45, 49, in one region in Afghanistan. Um, and you can see the red in the pie chart is maternal mortality. And the bar chart over to the side is the causes of mortality, of maternal mortality. So this was a project where I used direct and indirect methods of estimating maternal deaths uh, and was able to really get quite a bit of fieldwork experience um, and skills in survey methodology. A second example is a project that focused more on secondary data analysis where we were estimating gains in reproductive um, life expectancy among women 15 to 49 uh, by estimating how much longer women would live if we eliminated maternal mortality. And in this chart you can see that these areas where it's quite dark, those are areas where there's high maternal mortality and there would be significant gains in reproductive, life expect uh, reproductive age life expectancy if maternal mortality was eliminated. Thank you, Linnea.